Okay, today we're going to start with the passenger side, front, changing the uh, brake pads. So you just got to take your wheel off. Alright, the wheel's off. Now use it as a chair. On the inside of here, there's two bolts. There's one bolt here, there's one bolt down there, it's pretty much right behind that one, but it's on the bottom side right there. That's 15 millimeters, just take those two out. Those two bolts are loose. Just undo them the rest of the way. And you might be able to see here, uh, this brake cable, or yeah, this brake cable was in my way. So I just took it off this little clasp here. Kind of moved it out of the way. Okay, take your bolts and just put them up top. I put mine on my windshield wipers. This should just slide off, which it did. And we're gonna let that hang down. Okay. Now, what I like to do is inspect the rotors. Just take it off there. Just take a good look at it. Make sure it's still good. Looks pretty good to me. Inspect this part. Always inspect up and down like this and left and right. Okay, that seems good. I like to get all the little rocks and stuff out of here when I fix something. So get all the rocks and stuff out of there. All this mud and corrosion and stuff. Okay. So, grab your brake. Just kind of set it on here. Right now what we're going to do is we're going to take this little clip off. So, I need a screwdriver. A small flat head will do just fine. I'm using uh, Torx, but just undo the, the little metal thing. Should just pop right out of these little holes right here. And set that aside. Then what you're gonna wanna do, slide this out, which is gonna pull the rear, uh, It's gonna pull the rear brake pad, um, or I guess the inner brake pad, out of its little clamp. And then what I like to do, just put a screwdriver down there, kind of force it the rest of the way out. I'll, uh, I'll do that. Let's put the camera down. So now that's out. And you can pull this out the rest of the way. So that just comes off in one piece. And then the pads. The outer one should just lift out. And the inner one should come out pretty good right after that. Now, like I said, I like to clean it, so I'm just blowing it off. All right, so now put this piece back in. Okay. And then we'll grab the brake, the inner, inner uh, brake pad, <clears throat> and we'll slide it into the uh, into the hole there. It's got clamps, so it uh, it'll take some some force, but you can get it in there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the screwdriver and force that piece in there. Thank you. 
Ow. Now I'm going to put the old brake pad in there and hit it with a hammer or an axe because that's what I have. Okay. So the inner pad's in there. The best it's going to go right now anyway. Now slide that back out a little bit. And we're going to put the outer pad in. It just slides down. And then push the piece back on. And we're going to put the tie, or the wire, back on. And to do this, just slide it in one of the holes. Get it snug in there. And then lift it up over the top part here and then into the hole actually it looks like into the hole is going to be quicker and easier so into the hole and then up and over and then what I'm going to do I'm going to use my hammer use my hammer again and just kind of work that wire back in there both sides. And then we're going to space it with the tool. And what all this is doing is pushing the piston in. Okay, now quickly we're going to put it back on before that closes too much. put it back on and then find the, the holes put the screws in and just start with one of the screws just to get it started okay and then grab the other one and start that one Now grab the 15 mil again and just tighten it down. Oh, gotta switch it. Okay, that one's torqued down. Don't forget to put your brake cable back in the thing there. Okay, and then put the wheel back on. Alright, and now you've changed the brake pads. <laughs>